I love just how happy the music in this game is. Welcome back, everybody. Ah, after that wonderful three rounds of earwax, uh, we're back and we are going to play some Fibbage 2. I feel like if we play the new game and then go back to the old standby, and then play a new game and then go back to the old standby, that'll be a good way to do this. So, after Fibbage 2, we'll be Bidiots. And then after Bidiots, we'll be Quip... Uh, after, I said Quiplash 2. After Fibbage 2, we'll be Bidiots. And then after Bidiots, we'll be Quiplash XL. Because, uh, Quiplash XL will be a great way to finish out the night. So... Let's freaking do this thing. Um, I saw a question over in chat that I wanted to answer. I have not really looked at the calendar to see what day Halloween falls on versus when I stream. So we'll see as to whether or not I actually do a QFBC uh, Halloween stream. I'm not entirely sure yet. I think that my sound for this game is going to be... There we are. That one. And now we'll wait for all the players to join. And yes, Harry, don't you worry. Uh, I will definitely have time to play Quiplash. Whether you get here is up to you. Oh, Halloween is on a Saturday. Um, then I'm not really sure. Like, it kind of depends on what parties end up happening. So we'll see. We shall see. Uh, sweet. So for our first game of Fibbage 2, we have a full room here. Tim, uh, that's me, of course. Fairy All, Kisty Cat, Harry, uh, Queen Mab, Fart, Deadpool, and A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron, totally up in here. And we have, of course, the audience that you can join in at any point by going to jackbox.tv and putting in the room code. Today I'll be playing the character of myself, Hi, Cookie. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice ago. again. Enjoy the nuance. Eight people. Wow, this is more than I expect at my funeral. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience yeah. at any time. Thank you, audience Cookie, for pointing that out. I appreciate it. For their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. Oh, round one. Let's this let's go on inside. One, and that means I imagine that's supposed to be like a door knocker because the last one, the doors opened up to answer. let you into the game. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. Harry, if your pizza arrives mid-round, wait, Use what? To remove all but one lie and the truth, and just one defibbing per game. Really? Oh, that's right, neat. Pick a category. New mechanic for that. So Harry, choose our first category, and you better hope that your pizza doesn't arrive right now while you're choosing the category. That would be very inconvenient. Oh, he chose Sinatra. Okay, here's your first question. The bizarre, largely forgotten Frank Sinatra song, What Time Does the Next Miracle Leave, includes the lyric, Blank is Heaven. Now, I don't believe that I've ever heard that, that song. Fool the other players into believing it. If you get stuck, for half the points, you can use the Live For Me button and get a suggestion. Uh -huh. Do it now. And then you also have the def defibrillator at some point. Let's see. What time does the next miracle leave? Includes the lyric, blank is heaven. So what would what would a Frank Sinatra song find to be heaven? Ah! Hurry, hit the live for me yeah, button if that'll you work. think of something. That's true. It is largely forgotten. <laughs> oh, all lies are entered. Okay, here are your Let's choices. see what we've got. Find the truth and touch it on your device. Your love is heaven. Deadpool is heaven. Pizza is heaven. This bath is heaven. Two fingers of whiskey is heaven. Uranus is heaven. <laughs> uh, New Jersey is heaven. Getting paid by the mob is heaven. So what is, in fact, heaven? I'm gonna go with that one because it seems like the most likely answer, although getting paid by the mob certainly gets my, uh, a, a, a like from me, and also Uranus. Let's see what everybody selected. Oh, Whose lie is that? Is that Queen's lie? Good job. Nope, whiskey is kitty cat's lie. I put in, I put in two fingers of whiskey. Oh, nice, well at least I got one person with that. Sweet. Thank you so much, Queen. I appreciate it. Please tell me it's not Uranus. Are you fucking kidding me? 
This song Are you kidding me? Is it actually Uranus is heaven? Me to your moon. Come on. And that's it. Come on. Oh, yes, got picked. <laughs> that's awesome. Good job, Harry, for getting the right answer. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. And we got some audience likes in there, too. Awesome. Select a category. Queen Mab, your turn is up. Harmed, Plea, eBay, Marshalls, 100. I'm seeing a couple of different choices in there. Okay, here's the question. Oddly enough, Tapping that ass because Uranus is heaven. I love it, Harry. In January of 2001 was uh, the blank. number one single on the UK Top now. 100 list. Ooh. I mean, if it weren't just the round after, Uranus is heaven would totally be this one. I mean, come on, right? Oh, you're running out of time to put in your lies. Four people left. Three people left. Two people left. Nice. Okay, Just slipped it in there. The truth? Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Excuse me. Party in the USA. Great one to top the UK list. Fuck me. Destiny's Parent. Theme from Bob the Builder. Loving the Queen. Love me softly or row your boat. I'm going to go with Pick something. Maybe that one? I don't know. Row your boat's pretty funny. But the Bob the Builder theme is also really funny too. What's the correct right, answer? I'm almost scared now. Hey, Aaron. Got two. Got ooh, man, two with party in the USA there. Oh yeah, baby. That was my lie. Spice up your life. Oh yeah. Love me softly. God damn it, Kisty. God damn it, Kisty. You got me again. Really? Fucking seriously? No way! Bye, Phoenix. Have a great night. Have a good time on set tomorrow. Uh, have fun filming those horses. Are you fucking kidding me? Was it really the Bob the Builder theme? That's fucking crazy. Category. Oh my god. Okay, Deadpool, your turn is up. Motorhome. Motorhome okay, is the category. The, the Sheik, known as the Rainbow Sheik, a billionaire member of the ruling family in Abu Dhabi, built an unusual massive motorhome in the exact shape of blank. I mean, Write your lies now. It's going to be like five of the exact same answer, right? My lies in. That was the easiest answer of the night. I don't think it gets much clearer than that. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. One more person. You better hurry. Oh, nice. All right, where's the truth? Okay. Is it his penis? A giant shoe? A shoe? A martini glass? His own head? A giant rectangle? The earth? A teardrop? Or a giant cat? Which one is it? Built an unusual, massive motorhome in the exact shape of blank. All right, all the guesses are in. Okay, what did everyone pick? Was it a shoe? Nope, that was Aaron's lie. You're welcome for those 500 points. Was it a giant cat? No, that was actually Deadpool's lie. I thought that would be Kisty's. Huh, how about that? Was it his own head? Nope, that, that was their lie. You lose points on that one, sorry. No, it's not his penis. That was my lie. I mean, come on, like also... seriously. And Queen's lie. Anybody else's? Great minds think alike. Nice. Nope, just the two of us. Good job, Queen. 
Oh, nice. Bart got 500 points for that. Exact shape of the Earth? Seriously? Holy shit! And How did he build a motor home in the shape of the Earth? Like, does it roll? The Earth is round! That is a horrible shape for a vehicle! Whatever. Don't care. <sighs> oh, we got an audience vote. Okay. It's round two it's time. Round two, where all point what a pretty are painting of that. Uh, 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 I almost said iguana. Chameleon. Already, it's gone after round two. Okay. Right, if you don't use your defibrillators, it'll be on you. Okay. Here's the question. Fidel hmm. Castro was once kicked out of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York for trying to bring blank into his room. Hookers. Tons and tons lies, of hookers. <laughs> I, I really should be picking answers that more people are likely to pick, you know? But I just can't help but go for the joke. Come on. Come on, right? Hi, Jabone. Welcome. Glad you could join us. Oh, two more people. Two more people. Hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Aww. Ran out of time there. So Fidel Castro once kicked out of the Waldorf Astoria for trying to bring live chickens, communism, cigars, a fire, a wagon, toothbrush, prostitutes, the proletariat, and cigarillos into his room. Which one? I mean, cigars and cigarillos would definitely seem like the things that it would be, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what right, let's see let's what the see answers what are. Picked. Was it a fire? Did he try and bring a fire into his room? Nope. That was Fairy All's lie. Good job. Way to way to trick Queen. It wasn't cigars. That was Queen's lie. Yeah, I mean, come on, that's the obvious answer, right? He's always got that big stonking cigar. Is it live chickens? Holy shit, it's live chickens. I kind of had a feeling. He and seems like a guy who's weird enough to have live like chickens it. on hand. Awesome. I'm so glad that I got those points. And I'm still a thousand points away. God damn it. Hmm. And I got a bunch of likes for communism, too. How about that? <laughs> Select the category. All right, Fairy Elf, your turn to pick the category here. We got like candles and okay. Cool. Okay, here's the question. The Mandel Company makes candles exclusively for men, like product code SSMO, which claims to have the smell of blank. Uh, and so what does now. the Mandel Company sell you? Does it smell like overpriced cologne? Does it smell like gym socks? Does it smell like what are other quintessentially men smells? Does it smell like disappointment Hurry, from your father? Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Oh wow, that's a bunch of lies that haven't been entered. You guys better hurry. What does it smell of? Three left. Aww. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Does it smell of beef jerky? A swimsuit model. Bacon, seriously sexy manly odors, dirty beer, deodorant, gunpowder, beer, or sausages. Ooh. I'm gonna go with that one. I mean, Harwood basically just nailed it from the chat, right? That's gotta be the right answer. Seriously sexy manly okay, odor. Let's take a look. Is it bacon? That's a very, very, very alluring guess. Was it gunpowder? Wow, four people pick gunpowder. Four people lose a thousand points. Ouch. Is it beef jerky? Nope, that was also their lie. Whoo! A lot of people losing a lot of points this round. Nope, that was Fairy All's lie. God damn it. God damn it. It's the swell smell of a swimsuit model. Gah, fairy off. Good job. You took my points and, and then you earned 2,000 more. Son of a 
bitch. And Fairyall just jumps ahead by 3,000 points. Ah. Uh. Okay. All right, boys. Playtime is over. I get to choose a category this time. Let's go with that one. Why not? Okay, here's the question. Target Field, home of the Minnesota Twins, offers a very unique cocktail, the College Days Bloody Mary. Hmm. In your drink, you'll find olives, celery, and most notably, blank. Uh, <laughs> um... I almost feel bad for what I just put in, and then I remember that that's actually a thing that happens, and then I don't feel bad at all. Also, I feel better because I know the medical term. Only one person that time. Let's see. So what consists of a college day bloody college days bloody mary? Is it olives, celery, and bratwurst, ketchup, prohypnol, crushed dreams, gummy bears, pig blood, a slice of pizza, no alcohol at all, and disappointment, like the Minnesota Twins themselves? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um. I'm gonna go with if it's in Minnesota, it's kinda gotta be something gross like bratwurst, right? Let's see what everybody selected. Is it ketchup? Nope, not my fucking bloody Mary. Good job, Fairy all. Oh, your pizza's here, Harry. I'm so sad. I wanna steal it from you. Damn it! I need to quit giving points to AA Ron. Nope, Gummy Bears is their lie. At least he loses the thousand points. It kind of balances out in the end. Excuse me. No, a slice of pizza goes in the college days Bloody Mary. Yeah, what the it. hell? Wow. Damn it. And now I'm in fourth place. This sucks. Disappointment like the twins. <laughs> Hey, Andrea, welcome. Oh, and it's time for final fibbage. Final I love that they fibbage. kept the jackalope. That makes me happy. Question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Let's see what we've got. Take a look at your final fibbage question. The name, the name of the 2014 th video game developed by two high school students in New York City, which tackles an uncomfortable subject. I if feel like we should now. actually know the answer to this. I feel like somebody around here should actually know the answer to this. Um. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. I think that's how you spell it. I don't really remember. I never played it. Okay, find the truth. Was it Orgasm City, Depression Quest, Sex Education, Soma, <laughs> Tampon Run, Rampage, Hatofu Boyfriend, Birds and the Bees, or the Foie Gras Hunt? Um, Soma's pretty good guess. The Birds and the Bees. I think I would actually play the Birds and the Bees. Pick something. Although isn't isn't like a lot of those dating sims just the birds and the bees game? Okay, what did everyone pick? Is it rampage? Nope, that's A. a. Ron's lie. Cleaning that up. That's a big one. Holy shit! And then it's depression quest. Oh, that's fairy all's lie. Also. God damn it! Well, at least we're economical about giving away 3,000 fucking points. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Is it Soma? No, that's Queen's Lie. Oh god. So many points handed out. Are you kidding me?
The game is described as Mario with tampons, making the water levels extra embarrassing. <laughs> Okay. Well, Deadpool bringing up the weird with zero points, and Ferial murdering everyone with 14,000 fucking points. Holy shit. And of course, Fart takes it away with 29 likes. Good job. Good, good job. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Same game, new players. Let's fucking do this thing. All right, look out for that room code. Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it. Yeah, we get the fart in the first place. Do 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 do. Nuriel, you won that round because you earned like 7,000 points in that last round. Seriously, that final image was so good for you. Okay. In this round, we have me, Furry, Desi, Little Duck, Sai, Woodrow, Andrea, and Queen Mab. Welcome, everybody. Let's do this thing. Do, 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 do. Cookie Masterson's the name. Fidgets. Ten people in the audience. Uh, Holy shit. Wait, let me just you flatter sure. me. Yes, Fibbage is the game. Yeah, goddamn right, okay, Fibbage is the game. Cookie here. Masterson's Remember, the name. We're and we're here to coach. win this fucking thing. Oh, and, uh, Am I right? Anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score, and you can like your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> The room shouldn't be full. Like, keep trying, Marcy. This Seriously, the the, the audience should be unlimited. For everyone, you fool, and you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, do, which do, removes do, all but do, two do, answers do, on do, any do, question. Do, do. Save it for a tough one. All right. All right. So Desi is our first chooser. What's it gonna be? Hobbies, turkey karaoke, suspension. Ooh, nice one. Okay. It's probably about bridges. Question. Danvers High School in Massachusetts took discipline to a whole new level in 2009 when hmm. they informed students and parents that saying the word blank was grounds for suspension. Type in your lies now. <laughs> I don't think we are a word. I haven't seen the number go up any. So uh, maybe, maybe just you. Do 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 do. Hurry up! You got three more lives to get in. Hurry up before that timer runs out. One more. One left. One left. Oh, just missed it. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. All right. So discipline was taken to a whole new level in Massachusetts when this high school informed students and parents that saying the word meme, saying the word suck, the word ugly, the word hello, the word heck, the word murder, the word meep, the word evolution, and the word balls were all grounds for suspension. Which one of these is the truth? Go ahead and pick. I kind of like the word heck. Why not? Alright, who picked what? Time to rack up those scores. Is it the word meme? Which should be banned everywhere. I, I don't really care. Andrea, good job. That word should be banned everywhere. Was it the word ugly? No, not that kind of thought policing. Ouch! Losing 500 points straight off the bat. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. Okay, at least I get to earn some back. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nope. Heck with size lie. Good job. Good job. Is it balls? Is it fucking balls? Nope. It was me. Which is why the Roadrunner had to settle for his GED. What? The rest of these lies didn't what? Fill soul. Why? What? No, oh, well. What? That's fucking weird. Why would you do that? And Benson Honeydew. And, uh, oh god. Oh god, I can't believe I've been blanking on his fucking name. Beaker? 
Yeah, Beaker. Would never be able to talk again. Okay, here's the question. Oh my Old god, I did drop a couple of frames. Oh well. Hopefully it'll Galvin catch up with you. Had a rather strange secret to his success. Regular doses of a performance enhancing elixir made from blank. Um, now. Weird. Performance enhancing elixir made from That one. Is there anyone else getting a black screen? Did we did we die? I really hope we didn't die. Hurry, hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. One more person. There we go. Okay, I guess not. Okay, All lives are entered, truth? so I guess we're seeing something. Um Performance enhancing elixir made from horse semen. <laughs> Be a little thick. Monkey testosterone, coffee, liquid, of course, the blood of younger pitchers, <laughs> children's tears, vodka, booze, or moonshine. God, this is a tough one. Okay, good. Most everybody's saying that it works good. Um, I hope it's not horse semen. I really hope it's not horse semen. That would be just gross. Everybody picked. Is it booze? No, that's Woodrow's lie. Why would you choose Woodrow's lie? It's obviously a lie. <gasps> Is it vodka? Nope. No, nope. that one's on Desi. Good job, Desi. Is it horse semen? Nope. That's Little Duck's lie. Great and lie she there. just racked up with that one. A thousand or two thousand points in round one. That's awesome. Monkey, monkey testosterone it is. At the speed of poop. Little Duck and I totally nailed that and one. Nobody picked the other lies up there. Sorry, guys. Your lies weren't good enough. Okay. God, Little Duck. Jeez, and Pete's. That was a lot of points that round for you. Oh, sweet. I got. At least I get all the well, likes with that answer. Uh, okay, so let's see my categories here. I'm gonna go with that category. Why not? Okay, oh, dear. here's the question. Demeter Fragrance Library sells a cologne that blends the odors of white flowers, mahogany, and oriental carpet. The cologne hmm. is called blank. Input your lies now. I'm gonna go with... find the truth so the cologne is called morning wood uh, eccentric millionaire why why flow mahog oriental rich white people funeral home brawny man Hades his bedroom divorce and Paul Rand's sexy must oh my god I don't know I don't know, Asher. Did someone just say yoga? I don't think someone just said yoga. I didn't hear anything. Okay, what did everyone pick? Is it rich white people? Nope, that's Queen's lie. Good job, Desi. Way to feed the queen. God. Is it divorce? No, divorce smells like shame and regret and just a, just a hint of sandalwood. Is it morning wood? Nope, that's size lie. Wow, fantastic lie. Wow, wowie, wow, wow. Is it funeral home? You're fucking kidding me. A cologne for when you want your date thinking about the time a loved one died. Holy and these shit. these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. Why is it oriental carpet? Like, that's the one that I don't get. Are, are oriental carpets... Fucking popular in funeral homes? I haven't heard that before. Oh, the Hades is better is pretty great. Round two time! Where point values are doubled, and the lies aren't any better. 
And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Yeah. Use it around two or lose it. Use it or lose it, baby. To pick a category. Karaoke. Pranks. Please. Paratrooping. That's a good one. Okay, here's the question. The winner of the 2010 World Karaoke Championship in Moscow took home the unusual grand prize of one million blank. Write your lies now. Um... I mean, that's got to be the answer, am I right? I'm right. I'm totally right. You don't even know what my answer is, but you know that I'm right. Hurry, hit the live button. One million okay, amiibos would be worth choices. way more than one million dollars, so I'd almost get the. I'd almost rather get the one million amiibos. So was it? One million bottles of vodka, one million microphones, one million parachutes, one million demo reels, one million cassette tapes, one million tissues, one million cows, one million liters of vodka, or one million dumplings. Pick your answers carefully, because some of those lies may come around and bite you in the ass. Time's up. Okay, let's take a look. Is it cassette tapes? Nope, that's Desi's lie. Ah, 2,000 points go Desi's way. Ouch. Is it liters of vodka? No, that's Furry's lie. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I picked that one because mine is bottles of vodka. So I was like, well, if it's not bottles of vodka, it's gotta be liters of vodka, right? Fucking nope. Fucking nope. Of course not. Well, it's not parachutes either. That's Little Duck's lie, so at least we know that. I get some points off the deal, holy crap. Is it one million dumplings? What the fuck? And the rest of the board goes unselected. Like seriously? Come on. Some of these questions are, oh I love it. It's so fucking ridiculous. And Little Duck has 8,000 points. What the what right, even what? Alright, little duck, pick your damn category. Take your lead even further. I'm done. It's not hard. You know what? We'll just stick with this one. Okay, here's the question. For a short hmm. time in 2015, before they were discontinued, a shop in Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom sold sweets that were made to resemble blank. Uh, Enter your lies now. Let's see. So what, pray tell, could Walt Disney have sold sweets that were made to resemble before they were shortly discontinued. Besides penises, I mean, come on, right? Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Do 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 do. Do do. All what? lies were entered, All right, but some were not. the truth? Huh. Was it resembling amiibos? Resembling castles? Resembling butts, resembling horses, resembling earthworms, resembling real mouse ears, resembling hippos, or animal poop, or was it Cecil the Lion? What, pray tell, did Animal Kingdom serve that kept them from uh, being able to sell it for very long? My guess is actually animal poop. That's, that's totally my guess, because right, that exists. Is it earthworms? Nope, that was my lie. Thank you kindly. I do appreciate it. Was it hippos? No, that's size lie. Is it castles? No, that's over at Magic Kingdom, not in the Animal Kingdom. Why would they sell magic castles in the Animal Kingdom? That's, that's not even cool. Was it animal poop? We all know it's animal poop, baby. Yeah, Damn right. Any of these other lies. Holy crap. That was so many people getting the same answer. And yet nothing changes. Little Duck is still just laughing us all. 
Seriously, she is double my score, and I'm the closest out of all of us. Time to pick a category. The best we can ever hope for is second place at this point. Okay, here's Good job, question. Harry. Way to finish the whole damn pizza. When I'm proud of you. When house on the market in 2015, an Indonesian woman gave potential buyers a unique incentive. If you buy the house, it comes with blank. Huh. Input your lies now. So what, pray tell, would this in Indonesian woman give potential buyers that would be considered a unique incentive? Um. Hurry, hit the live from the yeah, why not? Why not? Something. It comes with 80 cats. That's right, Azure. Just 80 cats. All bunched up in a row. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay. So, the house comes with an elephant. The house comes with sex. The house comes with all her kids. Does it come with a free wife? Does it come with her? Does it come with a bride? Pet sharks? 10,000 goats? Or does it come with a blowjob closet? Personally, I would pick the blowjob closet. That's me. If it has a blowjob closet, then I'm totally in. Seriously, come on now. Who doesn't want a blowjob closet? Let's see what, Let's see what we selected. What we've got here, is it 10,000 goats? No. No, that's Andrea's lie. Is it a bride? No, it doesn't come with a bride. But I do think it comes with the bride's kids. Pretty sure about that. Nope, that was Furry's lie. Son of a bitch! God damn you, Furry Devil! Is it size closet? No, or size elephant answer. No. Does it come with her? Really? Are you kidding me? And wow. Pick the other lies up there. Yeah, I don't think I would sign up for that. Like, I think the point of taking over somebody's house is to get them the fuck out of the house. Right? Oh, and that made you just scooch right in front of me, son of a bitch. Okay. Welcome to the final fibbage. This Round three, final, final question, fibbage time. And it's worth Let's see game. how Odd it's Little Duck game. can extend her lead even fucking and further. Now, your final fibbage <laughs> question. The mind-boggling thing that two men, one from Colorado and one from California, did every day for over 100 days starting in 2015. Okay, it's not I masturbation because now. they said mind-boggling. Uh, what mind-boggling thing did they do every day for a hundred days, starting in 2015? Um, I'm gonna go with... Hurry up, use a suggestion Yeah, they memed every day for a hundred days, and that's what got them banned up in the, uh, Wisconsin school system. It better not be fucking yoga. Also, okay, four people didn't get their lies? The okay, so every day for a hundred days, these gentlemen breathe. These gentlemen on the hour. These gentlemen broke into Michael Jordan's house or stole a car. They ate Chipotle every day for a hundred days. They actually did their job, they delivered a baby, they took a selfie, or they got kidnapped. Every day for a hundred fucking days. Hmm. You know what? If it's Blaine, I'm going to say that it's fucking eating Chipotle. Oh no! Alright, let's see what everybody picked. What a poor time for the stream to freeze. Was it taking a selfie? No, that was my lie. Actually, that's Good awesome. There, well oh my god, you just gave me 6,000 points and I don't think anyone's around to see it. That makes me so sad. And then I got the truth as well. 3,000 more points. That's it. They ate Chipotle. Hmm, how about that? And now we have the final scores. And no one's here to see it. Hooray! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was 500 points away from getting- Oh, 500 points away from catching up with Duck. Oh my god. I am so mad.
that nobody saw that. Oh, son of a bitch. I think we might have come back just in time for everybody to see. Excellent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think it's about time for us to take another break. I'm going to see if I can figure out more of what's going on with this fucking stuttering situation because I don't really care for that. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Bye.